death toll in Mexican flood slides rises. Mexican authorities say the death toll from last week's floods and mudslides has risen to 130 after eight more bodies were found buried in a landslide. Interior Secretary Miguel Angel Osorio Chong on Tuesday said the latest bodies were recovered in Acatepec, a small town in the Pacific Coast state of Guerrero, which was the state hit hardest by the tropical storm Manuel. Soldiers and emergency workers are still seeking bodies in the biggest mudslide, which smashed into Guerrero hamlet of La Pintada. A total of 68 people are believed to have died there, although few of their bodies have been recovered. While Manuel was doing most of the damage last week, Hurricane Ingrid hit Mexico's Gulf Coast at the same time, also causing floods and landslides. This is Prince May Lord Lina reporting. Asia News. Malaysia shift in affirmative action angers minorities. The Malaysian government's new measures to the benefit of Malay majority are angering the multi-ethnic nations, other races, and raising fears they could accelerate a brain drain of talent heading overseas. Prime Minister Najib Razak pledged in 2010 shortly after taking office to reform controversial decades of affirmative action policies for the Muslim Malays, seeking to halt a flood of minority voters to the opposition. But he reversed course this month with a slight of new perks to placate conservatives in his Malay ruling party who are upset over a weekend mandate he won in May elections in which minorities continue to snub Najib. The move has angered non malays complain of second-class status and led to the accusations that Najib reneged on a promise of racial inclusiveness. This is Kyla Gail Sanchanes reporting back to the studio. Andy Murray gives thumbs up after operation. Andy Murray has given the thumbs after the undergoing surgery on his back. The two-time Grand Slam winner took to the Twitter just after operation, writing, Thanks for all the well wishes. Means a lot to me. Murray, 26, is hoping to return to the training in Miami in November following a period of rehabilitation. This is Michael Jonas Carey reporting. To Cloman City, Lady Philippines, the police and military arrested around 700 supporters of a defeated mayoral candidate of Baba City in late early Monday morning for reportedly throwing stones at policemen, injuring several, and for damaging government property during a 3 p.m. on Sunday. Superintendent Carlito Gallardo, Chief of Pabe City Police, said a joint team of 100 Army soldiers and police officers arrested the supporters of Marilo Malat Galenzaga at around 3 a.m. Monday after an eight-hour standoff. Galenzaga has been accusing Curry of committing massive cheating to win. Bye -bye Mayor Carmen Curry got 30,618 votes against Galenzaga's 15,421 votes. Gallardo said Galenzaga and her supporters marched to the Baba City Hall where they held a rally at around 3 p.m. Sunday. Gallardo said 33 policemen were deployed at the Baba City Hall to keep peace and order at the rally. This is Channel Hika reporting. Back to the studio. p.m. today, a low-pressure area was estimated based on available data at 240 kilometers west of Lubang Island, southwest monsoon affecting southern Luzon and Visayas. Moderate to strong winds blowing from the southwest to west will prevail over central and southern Luzon and the coastal waters along these areas will be moderate to rough. Light to moderate winds coming from the northeast will prevail over northern Luzon and coming from the southwest over the rest of the country with slight wind to moderate seas. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more updates. McAfee declares Lily Collins the world's most dangerous celebrity. The daughter of musician Phil Collins already gets enough negative publicity for having the former Genesis frontman as a dad, but now she also has the dubious honor of topping the antivirus firm's annual list of risky web searches. Every year, McAfee compiles a list of the top 10 celebrity names. When typed into a search engine, the most likely to result in a console malware attack, whether it's spam, fireware, or a virus. 
According to the 2013 chart, typing Lily Collins into Google or Bing or Yahoo as a part of a search term possesses an 14.5% chance of getting an infected PC, whereas a search for Avril Lavigne, 2013's second most dangerous celebrity, possesses an a 12.7% risk. The top three are surrounded out by Sandra Bullock, who possess a 10.8% risk. As Paula Grip, the director of a web security research of Mac 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 at McAfee explains, today's consumers often are completely unaware of security risks when searching for celebrity and entertainment news. Images and videos online, sacrifices safety for emergency, cyber criminals prey in consumers' addiction for breaking news and leverage this behavior to lead them to unsafe sites that can severely infect their computers and devices and steal personal data. This is Mariana Nyora reporting.